So Clashers, here we're going to give you some tips and tricks for the early stages of F1 Clash 2023 season in order to get you guys winning terms in your duels. Yes, it is pretty hard. A lot of changes have gone into play. So myself and the team, we've been testing duels in and out, losing, winning, losing, winning, and trying to figure out what is the best strategy. I'm going to share some pointers out with you. But before we start, you want to like to hit that subscribe button because my next video is going to be about groupings on the GPs and which strategy to take low flag, high flag and our predictions on what may happen on the GP. So make sure you hit that strategy, um, that strategy, that subscribe button, guys. Right. So we're going to start here with one of my tips is going to start off with the drivers and um, the epic versus the commons. I spent my CT points on a Max Verstappen Epic. I went out of my way and did this for the purpose of the video to show some people that wasting your CT points on an Epic driver is not worth it. I highly recommend you stay with your CT points to unlock asset trading at the future of your journey in F1 Clash. So do not spend it on an Epic driver because once you unlock a common, like Max Verstappen and Leclerc, you will get an offer in the store between 60 to 75 bucks and it will give you enough cards to upgrade your common all the way up to level seven. And trust me on this, your comments on level seven on a low series like I am right now, between four and five, he will be very tough, very good, and you will actually beat some epic cards. If not, look at these um screenshots that i've taken leclerc has beaten before epic cards and on the gameplay that you're currently watching right now leclerc actually ends up winning again versus three epic cards myself my epic and my rivals epic verstappen and hamilton my level seven charles leclerc actually beat them both so do not waste your cc points on an epic card make sure you upgrade those commons and rares up because Hutch did give us a tip that your commons and rares are going to be way stronger this season. Okay, for tip number two, we're going to go with car components and I believe that car components this season, this season is um, very, very important. Guys, I think it plays like 60% of the role on how to drive and to win your duels. The reason being, I'm going to put it this way. Let's say you currently get Max Verstappen and put him inside a Williams, a Haas, or I don't know, one of the lower teams in Formula One currently. And I bet you he will not be winning. So car components is very important. And Hart also gave us a tip on this one that car components would play a bigger role. So uh, for car components, I will say that power unit is very important also. Um, and cornering, I found that cornering is also very important. So we're going to talk about a little bit about the power unit and some strategy towards your duels, and it's going to be mostly about the ERS. Now, the ERS is one of the biggest key moments in your racing. What you want to do as you start off the race, you want to always be ahead of your rival or your opponent. Yes, you're thinking, obviously, this is logical. So in order for you to win a race, you have to be in front. But what do I mean about this? I'm going to talk a little bit more technical. You can zoom out in your map on your track on your phone and you can you can see your rival's bar, ERS bar. You can see it right here right now that his ERS is more or less at 50 percent. And I knew that I was a little bit slow, so I conserved a bit in order to catch up to have more ERS than my rival. Now, if he is behind you and you're in front and you can see that he's got 50% ERS and you're around the 60 and the 70%, what this means is when he boosts and you boost at the same time, you will always stay in front. Most of the time, you will always stay in front. And if you don't, and if he passes in your corner, he's gonna run out of ERS before you and you are gonna catch him and be in front of him once again. So you will control your ERS and his at the same time, if you more or less know what I'm talking about. Now, ERS is another technical thing that we're going to talk about. Do not leave it go down below 30% on most of your racing. 
because as soon as it goes down below 30%, it was gonna take forever to recharge. It's slower to recharge when it's hit below 30%. So more or less how I calculate my races is when it's on around 30%, I recharge it back up to say 50 or 60, a boost here and there on the slow corners and make sure it doesn't go down below 30. Another tip about the ERS would be on the last two laps, you want to have around 80 to 100% ERS battery charged. And this is mostly because it's gonna be the final two laps of the race and it's the most importantly where you have to go full on attack to gain your position back or you have to defend your rivals. <coughs> Excuse me about that one. So yeah, that's a little tip on ERS, don't let it go below 30%. And always trying to make be in front of your rival so you know when he is boosting and you always have that little edge over him. Now, let's talk about strategy on most occasions. The too soft strategy on a free medium, too soft, too soft in Baku is working really, really well, guys. It's better than a one stop strategy. I think on those hard tires, you're way too slow. And the way you're gonna do it is on your mediums, you will be on the amber. It will keep you in touch with your rivals you won't be that far off and you will be charging that um ers system and when you're on your two soft you can also go with the amber and then on the last lap if you're around 80 to 100 percent ers boost just boost all the way on red and finish that race with a win as you have just watched on this gameplay and we're gonna go and go over the and um, the debrief and look how my Charles Leclerc is on a common, beat the three epic cards that we just currently seen. And yeah, this has happened more than once for me that my common on level seven will actually beat them epics. So guys, these are little few tips I've had and that has got me onto winning raids and uh, maybe like a 14 win streak, seven win streaks, eight win streaks, and it's working very, very well for me. A double seven, double level seven commons comment will also work very good with you. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I hope to catch you up on the next one which is going to be a strategy tip for your GPs. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to catch you up on the next one guys.